Alright, good day, hi and welcome. Yeah. Look at all those nice green, eh? Nice down by the water kind of stuff. I do want to get a garden there. Uh, I want to clear all this. Oh, there's the gate. The gate that couldn't contain Barney, the horse. I miss that horse. He was he was a horrible horse to have, but he, you know, it was, it was interesting to have a horse, you know. It's the only, only well, it was my grandmother and grandmother's horse, eh? So I only tried to ride him once. He was a big workhorse. He was about as wide as my truck, about as tall as my truck. Uh, he was shorter than my truck and about as wide. And uh, like I said in the previous video, he was one of the best workhorses when he wasn't stubborn. And uh, yeah, but it was neat to see a horse in here all the time. But Because he kept everything. He was like an automatic lawnmower, right? Yeah, that's all he'd do is just eat stuff all day. Life of a horse. But it's amazing how easy horses get sick and stuff. Like the workhorses, they're a little, they got a bit better, better immune systems. But I guess a lot of horses are so inbred to get certain breeds or whatever that uh, it's kind of like certain dog breeds where they're just sick all the time. You know, they get colic, they get, uh, you know, they, they really, really, really don't, uh, uh, don't, uh, you know, it's amazing how long a horse can live, but you have to keep that horse like prestige to, to get him to, you know, not get sick and die on you for such an expensive investment. But horses are also like white elephants, right? People buy them and then they realize it costs six grand a year just to keep a shitty horse. <laughs> you, you know what I mean? And uh, it's like, uh, here, you want to buy my horse for 600 bucks? Yeah. Oh, what a great deal on a horse. Yeah, first week cost you $2,000 because of all, this, all the medical vet bills and all that stuff. Yeah, no, I know some horses are like really robust and they, they're, they're, they virtually don't need any attention whatsoever. But that seems few and far between. I mean, I'm not a horse guy, so you'd have to tell me whether I'm off my rock or not. But for everybody I know that has horses, uh, if they're not prestigely upkept, uh, you, you can notice it in the horses almost straight. At, like a good owner to a not so good owner. It doesn't mean the owner's mean or anything like that, but just somebody who doesn't know how to. Uh, you, you'll see a horse start to deteriorate after like a month of the new owner. Like, you know what I mean? Like, you know, you'll start to see rib cages. You'll start to see sores. You'll start to see whatever. Like it's it's. I don't even know how there's any left on the planet. You know, like something that sensitive. But then again, I think it depends on the type of horses, eh? Like, I think most of the horses that get sick are just the riding horses, you know? But, you know, there's a horse bridle right there. I wonder how old that is. <laughs> Been there all my life, so, yeah. <laughs> you know, it's like, uh, I wonder who put it up against the wall there. Just nailed it to the wall, so, don't know, don't know which horse would be, uh, you know, I guess it wasn't it wasn't in use. It's like, oh, we'll just nail it to the wall so we don't lose it. That's a lot of old barns and stuff like that. Stuff gets just nailed to the wall so you don't lose it. Might use it in five years. Might use it. Next generation might use it. We'll just, you know, nail it to the wall. Okay, I definitely took a lot more hay this time. It's kind of like, will it stay in the box? That's the only question. I have hay all over the roads. People like, Reg, next time you steal hay, clean your freaking trail <laughs> the hay trail led right back to me that would have gotten away with too if it wasn't for those meddling kids you know what i mean yeah so anyway i think that's all i'm going to take from there I'll let this stay here and kind of knock some of that down oh there's that cake that tried to escape you thought you're going to get away eh mr cake you didn't you didn't get away i captured you stole you fair and square yeah, so I think my grandfather would be saying, well, at least somebody's doing something with it. You know, because uh, the old timers, they weren't uh, into anything being wasted, right? Uh, they never threw away anything. You know, uh, it's not like today where, you know, we definitely have a throwaway culture on just about everything. Uh, and it, it's like, there's like, in, you know, including vehicles, uh, you know, homes, what, like it doesn't matter what it is. You just throw it away when you're done with it. Uh, but things are also made in such a fashion that you can't fix it easily. Like when I was a kid, you could uh, have a, you know, a refrigerator repairman or a washing machine repairman come to your door. You know what I mean? Like it was kind of interesting. And that was an economy on its own too, you know. Like uh, would have been, would be good to see more. 
Like our service sector economy is basically selling shoes and shirts and you know, like stuff like that, right? Clothing, you know, like that's not really a service sector economy. And then fast food, you know, like that's our service sector economy. And then a bit of tourism, bit of entertainment. Uh, but if you had like a service sector economy based on skills, then I think you could have a really, really productive society. I mean, that's just my take. All right, I'm not saying I did a lousy job cleaning up here. What I'm saying, well, that is what I'm saying, I guess. So, my expertise tell me that I'll fit in my truck and I'll make it all the way back home without getting caught or leaving a huge trail. Although I gotta go up that big hill and I'm probably gonna leave a huge trail up the hill. I don't want to lose, oh, oh, right the knee, right, right the knee. Dodge doors are just perfect for hitting you in the knee. No idea why. Oh, that, that, oh, that didn't feel good at all. That didn't feel good at all. Uh, looks like I got him a lot of money there, but that's just like gas for the week. <laughs> all right, so now that I'm gonna shut off the camera and start crying because I hurt myself, but uh, yeah, there we go. So two jobs done for today, for my day off. And uh, I'm definitely gonna have to take a shower after I'm all itchy already. Uh, and then I'm gonna have to uh, see if I can get this unloaded. I already took the metal off the trailer this morning. Uh, it was just light fencing from my job yesterday. Put it in my new trailer. And then, I don't know if I'm gonna make it back there in time. I don't know. Anyway, I'll go with this anyway.